focus on this time because if you can get through this, this really difficult time, you're going to be able to get through a lot easier times. Guys, I think we all know it. During all this quarantine thing, we've probably all had the idea in our heads on how we need to keep working out during the quarantine so we can come back stronger and better than everyone else. And myself, I've definitely done it, but lately I've also kind of felt how it's pretty difficult to keep up the motivation and keeping up the grind to try and help you guys and myself out. I'm gonna call up some of my friends who I know work relentlessly so they're ready for when football comes back. Those guys are 7 MLC and Will John. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. So you heard my problem. I have maybe a bit of a tough time staying motivated now. What can you do to help me? I think as footballers, what's tough for us right now is we usually have a deadline, don't we? So if we train on a Monday for a Saturday game, we're training for preseason, we're training for a cup match. There's always a date in mind, but for the first time, we're all in the same boat where we're just training, but with no end in sight. So it's a different kind of motivation now. But I think the main thing is, is you always have yourself as competition. Whenever you have to do a thing over and over again, no matter if it's your favorite thing, if you love eating cake, you can eat the cake, and keep going, but eventually <laughs> you're gonna get sick of the cake. You're gonna have to take a break from the cake, you have to go somewhere else. And that's what we're all in now, you know? And so it's just like, how do you motivate yourself when all you can do is either juggle the ball, pass it up against the wall, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups and all that stuff. Well, to be honest, I like to attach to the one thing that I think is the key to everything in your success, in the sport, in football, outside, etc. which is essentially, A, knowing exactly what you want and where you want to go, mm. because that can help to make quarantine not drive you insane. If you know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but you still have to figure out a way to make sure you're good for when training comes back. I don't want to come back with a pot belly. I want to come back looking like Homer Simpson, okay? <laughs> I can't even imagine what yeah. that would look like. <laughs> <laughs> I know. For me, I see this quarantine um, as also an opportunity to get better compared to everyone else. You know, if you, if you can't do the step over, you work on it. And maybe you've just gotten those 2% extra compared to everyone else. How, how, do you, how do you use, as like a professional footballer, this mindset to, to, to motivating yourself on a daily basis? This is this is the time. Like there is no other. There's not going to be a better time for you to learn tricks on the ball, to to fix your body, to do whatever, to learn how to be more flexible. I know for a fact not everybody is taking this time as an opportunity. A lot of people are seeing this as a restriction, and they're taking this almost like a vacation. You know, they're just just playing video games all day. I think it's fine to reward yourself, but work comes first. I mean. And you're probably going to do it in less time, which is also something I think everybody's going to realize is that they're going to go to try and fix their Elastico, but they've been putting off for like six months and then it's going to take them like 10 minutes to do it. And they'll be like, well, what do I do now? <laughs> well, you keep going. Like, that's that's what it is. And I think what really does motivate me, I think I can't wait for people to see how good I am when we get back, you know, how sharp I am, how fit I am and how much they slacked off. I think that's going to be the competition. I'm, I'm thinking of it as like, that one day when we're all back on the football pitch, that's gonna be the biggest race. It's almost gonna be like the Olympics of football. Like who has been training the last four years, right? Who's gonna get that gold medal? Who's been keeping themselves in shape? How do you uh, set up a routine and, and get the discipline to do these sort of things? Cause I know that I may have the desire, but you know, when it comes down to it, I'm sat there on the couch, uh, binge watching Netflix or old football matches and you know, ah, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. The difference between theory and you know and practice is is one that all players are just gonna go through. So I find a way to chunk down the parts of the game that I know I need the most, and then just worry about that. I think that some people maybe think this sucks. This is a break. I don't know what to do, but they should be thinking it's an opportunity because it is. So during quarantine or this time where our schedules are different I think it's important to set appointments with ourselves this what I do is I always write all of my schedule down so this is my entire week of training right here and with me I see this as an appointment like this is like I've got to be at work you know I've got to be at school I've got to be at an exam so so I, I treat it like I got to get the bus at this time and if I don't get to the bus stop the bus is going to leave without me so if I don't get to my appointments the rest of the footballing world is going to leave without me. So I need to kind of stay accountable to myself. So basically what you're saying is, is make a, a weekly schedule of how you should do it. Put aside three, four, 
five, how many hours you want to work every day. Uh, put it into little segments, plan when you rest, plan when you work out. And then, you know, you just have to follow that very, very strictly in order to, to maintain that motivation. Which is, are there things you can do to kind of trick yourself into, into doing these things? Well, the, honestly, but you're gonna have to trick your mind. I don't like to run. I don't think Who running does? is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> <Who> like, <laughs> exactly. Like, why would I want to run? I don't understand, you know? So I get it, it makes you help. But I run because it helps me in the sport. I do those interval trainings and then sprints on the treadmill and I do burpees because when it's the 90th minute, I want to still be able to go. So for the people who don't necessarily know why they're doing it, I think you have to trick yourself. If you are lacking motivation or direction and, and the discipline to train, maybe your goals aren't that clear. And I think maybe it's not a physical issue, it's not a laziness issue, it's a, you need to recalibrate your thinking just a little bit and realize where do I actually really want to go with whatever I'm doing? Because we all have different crafts, right? So you kind of have to reset and think, what is what is my end goal? What is my main goal? How do I get closer to that? What what would you say to people who, who need a little bit of extra, that extra push to do things on a regular basis every day? Like what's, what's the key? What's the... If you can get 1% better each day, over the course of six months, this is gonna add up to an amazing, amazing improvement. And the truth is that you're not gonna get better only 1%. Like if you continually do it, you're gonna you're gonna gain 1% the first day, maybe 3% here, and it's gonna start to be exponential. So players have gotta realize, you don't wanna start worrying about, uh, like how, how quick can I get it to the, do your training, do the stuff, do it consistently, and try to improve very little every day and you have no idea what you're going to look like as a player after six months or three months or a year mm -hmm. you're going to appreciate it so much more when you're back so i just challenge everyone to really focus on this time because if you can get through this this really difficult time you're going to be able to get through a lot easier times i think those are pretty good words to close everything down michael um such good motivation just for me as well i mean i want to go down and write up a schedule and just uh, try and follow it thank you so much for joining and uh and stay safe out there yeah man cool man all right, man. Later. All right, Jay Mike. Thanks for having me again. Appreciate it. So guys, I know quarantine sucks, but try to look at this as an opportunity. An opportunity to have the time to get better. An opportunity to get stronger and surprise everyone when you come back because of how good you've become. An opportunity to get the space and find the motivation that you normally wouldn't have in order to get better. Basically, it's all about finding that desire within yourself to improve every single day. And if you can find that desire, not only will you improve as a football player, but actually also as a person. Now, of course, if all of this you've seen doesn't yet motivate you, I don't know what will actually get you off the couch so you can improve. But if you are one of those guys who really want to become a better player, a better version of yourself, let us know how you motivate yourselves in the comment section right down below. Of course, also, you should also go and subscribe to the channel with the notifications on because we're gonna keep you updated with sick videos on how you stay sharp. Or you can check out the playlist right down there with actual drills on how to become a better football player. Of course, if you need new equipment, new boots for all of this. You can buy everything you need from unisports.com right over there. And with that said, guys, stay motivated. And I'm signing off. Cheerio.